The next very important part of SQL is called data control language, also referred to as DCL. So this comes into place where you have databases. For example, imagine I have a database. Okay, let's assume this is the database that is at IMDB, right? Different people or different products, right, might have different access permissions to this data. For example, let's say that any software developer, any software developer should be able to access this database, right? While all the data scientists also can access this database, but they cannot modify it. Let's assume they cannot modify the database. They can only select data from it, right? Let's assume they can only select data from it, right? While there could be an admin who can now, who only, only admins have the right to create new tables. Because look at this, this whole IMDB database is being used by multiple people in the organization. A software engineer might have to insert new rows, right? He also has to run select queries because he's building a web app or a mobile app where people are rating, so he has to update the ratings, right? Or a, uh, or a new movie is created and he has to be able to insert the data here, or he has to be able to run some select queries, joins, all of that, obtain the data and show it on his web app. So some software engineers or some users may have access permissions to read and write from the data. While a data scientist in the same organization, let's say at IMDB, he need not add or delete data. He just has to obtain the data and build some machine learning models or data science models on top of it. So data scientists may not have the permissions to add or modify data. All he can do is obtain the data and then use the data for building his machine learning or models or data science or analysis, whatever. There could be a third person called admin, okay, who is mostly the database admin, the people who own the, who own and who are responsible for the well running of this database. Only they would have permissions, for example, to index. Only they would have permissions to index on a database or on a specific column in a specific table. Let's assume I have one table here on this column. Only they should be able to have permissions to index or only they should be able to have to create a new table, right? Otherwise, everybody, every, every software engineer or data scientist might create a table and create a mess here, right? Remember, databases are at the heart of many, many trillions of dollars worth of economics today, right? Be it be your, uh, if you're in the US, you have something called a social security, right? So social security numbers are all stored in some form of government databases. Your Aadhaar card in India, right? Which is a form of government identification is stored in some databases that the government maintains, right? Your date of birth certificates, your land property documentation, right? Your income tax returns, your income tax returns, right? All of this very, very super critical data is probably sitting in some database in the world where you don't want any software engineer in, in even the government organizations. You want only some people to be able to look into the data, some people not to be able to modify their data. There are going to be lots and lots of issues. Imagine at an e-commerce company, you don't want anybody to touch the credit card information because it is super duper critical. You don't want every software engineer in a company to have access to your customers' uh, email addresses sometimes or their shipping addresses where you have to ship their products. There are so many privacy concerns that can pop up. So having the right control on who has access to what data who can access what data and who cannot access other data. This is super duper important. And the data control language helps us control who has what access to in the database, right? So there are three reference links from, uh, from Wikipedia and MySQL documentation that I'll go over with some simple examples, right? So let, let's go here, okay? So this is the data control language. Again, data control language may not be implemented by all the, all the SQL databases, right? So there is something called as SQL Lite, which is mostly there uh, on your smartphones to store your phone numbers, etc. Right? So SQL Lite does not have DCL commands altogether, but all industry grade uh, like Oracle databases, right? Or MySQL databases, all of them have data control language based commands. And the two basic commands, grant and revoke. As the name suggests, grant allows you to give specific users 
specific permissions to perform specific tasks revoke basically removes those permissions right very simply speaking that's what they achieve to do so let's take an example okay this is my this is a mysql page i'm on the reference manual for the grant page for the grant command let's look up okay again different sql like sql uh, databases give different types of possibilities like for example sql doesn't even have grant and revoke right for mysql i can say grant all the permissions right whether it is about uh, being able to run select queries or uh, alter tables create tables giving permissions all the permissions on so and so database okay so database dot star which means all the tables in the database to this username jeffrey at localhost okay this is one example the second one is the database administrator can create roles he can create a role called admin okay this is again very specific to mysql he can create a role called data scientist he can create a role called software engineer and he can give these roles grant this role to this user so let's assume user 1 is a software engineer right so he can create a role he can assign some permissions to a given role right creating roles is again a different task in itself but once you have created the roles you can assign each of your users a role so now if software engineer can has a bunch of permissions all those permissions will be given to user 1 right very simple or uh, okay so grant only select so this is another example here you are only giving the permission you are granting the permission to run only select queries on all the tables in the world database to this role now this role can be given to multiple users again right so this is how grant works typically of course the overall syntax of grant can be very complex because this is the whole documentation of grant again it is it changes from database to database but in a nutshell grant helps you give specific permissions again there is a huge list of permissions okay you can give all the permissions or you can only give alter permissions you can give only create permissions you can only give permissions to delete or drop and so on and so forth right you can only give uh, like uh, select that we have seen earlier right there are so many things that you can give permissions or privileges or access permissions to right so again as i mentioned multiple times this changes from database to database so if you are using a different database from mysql you should read up the documentation but in a nutshell grant helps you give specific permissions to specific users similarly if you go to the function documentation for revoke right so this is the revoke i am again on my sql documentation in the reference manual for revoke very similar syntax revoke insert so all the permissions so i am revoking this permission to be able to insert on all the databases and all the tables see star dot star right star basically means all the databases this star basically means all the tables from this user right or i can selectively do that if i can revoke this permission on this database for all tables for a given role right and of course i can revoke a role suppose for example if if one of my software engineers quits the company right for that user for that software engineer that i have i can revoke a whole role also so that that guy that user one right now does not have the permissions that role one currently has right so you're removing him from role one so grant and revoke again revoke has again multiple things that you can revoke and there's a huge documentation available right in a nutshell in a nutshell data control language helps you ensure data safety and to ensure that your database is maintained properly by your database admins while being able to be used by your software engineers right by your business folks right again by your data scientists and machine learning engineers everybody wants to use the same database right but it's the admins who control many of these permissions and it's extremely important to do it for privacy for legal reasons for just the sanity of how the database is accessed and how the database is managed properly right 
And this is possible in all of the major data production quality databases in the world, except a few of them like SQL.